بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والحمد لله رب العالمين وصل اللهم على سيدنا ونبينا محمد وآله الطيبين الطاهرين اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد Of the discussions that the fuqaha and jurists have in their books is a discussion of the recommendation of al-istikhara. When we speak about al-istikhara, normally that which comes to our minds is the istikhara done through the Holy Quran or with certain prayers where I'm directed as to whether this action is good for me or whether that this action should be avoided. In our discussion, however, right now, when we say the word istikhara, we don't mean this meaning. So we're not referring to using the Holy Quran or using Tasbih or using Salah to be guided in a certain way. Rather, when we use istikhara, we're using istikhara in its original meaning mentioned in riwayat and ahadith, which was literally asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the best of my affairs and asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the best outcome. For al-istikhara literally means طلب الخير من الله تعالى. And the fuqaha and the jurists say that this dua of asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the best outcome and the best in my affairs is something that was highly recommended in a number of situations. For example, when a person was going on a journey, especially if there was confusion or fear, or any important task, any dangerous tasks, any tasks where I have confusion. In fact, certain fuqaha said that any big event in a person's life or anything of importance in that person's life before that, before the event, they should do the shidua known as al-istikhara or asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the best. In fact, the riwayat of Ahlul Bayt alayhi wa salatu wa salam mentioned by Imam al-Baqir salamullahi alayhi and Imam al-Sadiq alayhi salatu wa salam tell us that the Ahlul Bayt alayhi wa salatu wa salam would say that in the way that we learn surahs of the Holy Quran. Today we learn surahs of the Holy Quran by memorization. Likewise, we should learn the dua of istikhara. In fact, it's this dua that when Sayyid al-Shuhada, Imam Hussain sallallahu wa sallam, left Medina before he goes on this journey towards eventually Karbala, he does this dua of asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the best. That the narration say, Imam al-Sajjad sallallahu alayhi when he was concerned about something, when he would go on Hajj or Umrah, when he would buy or sell something, especially when there was confusion, before performing that, he would ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the best of his affairs. And the way to perform this istikhara is either I perform it after my wajib prayers, or I perform two units of prayer, or even if I don't do these two things, without these two things, I come, I stand towards Qibla. After praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, reciting salawat, doing tawassul with Ahlul Bayt alayhi wa salatu wa salam, the recommendation mentioned is to say, أَسْتَخِيرُ اللَّهَ بِرَحْمَتِهِ أَسْتَخِيرُ اللَّهَ بِرَحْمَتِهِ After Bismillah and salawat and tawassul and hamd and dhikr, when I say this and I can do this uh, seven times, I can do this three times, I can do this ten times, I can do this one hundred times. <coughs> On doing this, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the best in my affairs. And we are told that this is one of the most important supplications a person can do in their lifetime, especially when difficult tasks and difficult events arise in a person's life. وآخر الدعوان أن الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى الطيبين الطاهرين